What's up fathers, friends, and do-it-yourselfers? It's your boy L from Garage 3000. And today I got a pretty awesome item. I decided to just go ahead and, um, you guys know I got the 2007 Vulcan Nomad 1600. Um, I wanted to beef up the speakers. You guys saw the speakers that I put on um, in one of my previous videos. I can throw the link down in, um, in the comments. But um, they're pretty loud, they're awesome, but I wanted something more robust, especially while I was riding on um, the highways, you know? So um, I wanted to switch it up. I didn't care for the original OEM uh, windshield. To me, it kind of made the bike look dated. So I try to ride without it as much as possible, but of course that just increases the wind noise. So I figured I killed two birds with one stone. I get a bat wing fairing and I multiply my, my speakers. So I'm going from two to four uh, and initially more, but I mean, eventually more. But um, hopped on eBay and found this nice little item. It's a vector bat wing. I tried to find a lot of information about it on Facebook, um, YouTube and stuff like that. And I personally couldn't find a lot. So I decided to go ahead and invest my own money in it check it out and see how it sounds, see how it looks, see how it feels and all that stuff like that. So you guys can make an informed decision on if you want to purchase this. This was $875 or so on eBay plus another $80 for shipping and taxes. After everything, it came to about $1,000, maybe $998. But um, yeah, let's see. So it comes from practice pretty well. The FedEx man, he just dropped it off. He came, um, did it pretty carefully. Uh, it's a fairly sizable box. Seems like it's extremely protected. I've already cut the tape, so um, let's see what's in the box. So we just have some extra cardboard. More cardboard, of course. More protection. I like that. Even more protection. This is the unit. We will slide this back. There. Let's see if there's anything else in the. All right, inside the box there's a uh, wiring harness, some screws for the windshields, um, and the instructions. Just pop that down there, and then take a look at it. We highly, we would highly recommend that you test fit this before painting it. Um, yeah, they're just saying test fit it before you go spend your money and paint again and getting custom match custom to match your bike all right here we have the uh the windshields seems like a clear one and a tinted one I'm getting somewhere. There we go. There we go. So there we go. We have a quad speaker set up. Um, we have four 5.25 uh, speakers. Uh, they're big rocks, Rockford Fallscape. Uh, yeah, let's see. Let's flip it around. Awesome sauce. So we see we have an electric plug that we will run through the bike to the battery. Most definitely. But we have one for the hot um, ground and one for the, the positive. Blue is for negative, I'm sure. Grounding. And that red one is for the positive, I'm quite sure. It should just fall right into the, um, the factory. Go right into the factory uh, windshield bracket holes. So you take this off and on as easily as you take off your arm OEM. You would just disconnect it, of course, from here. So, dude, I want to should I just hook it up to a battery? I might just hook it up to a battery. Fuck that. All right, I have a battery here. Uh oh, it's starting to rain. I have a battery here from my boat and uh, it still has plenty of life left so I'm going to just go ahead and so we have power let's just turn it on real quick I need a phone my phone is recording all right we have power it says welcome let's find a radio station let's see how this how well this tuner picks up I'm keeping them. Nice. The popcorn business. 
ingest or die. Trying to find something with a little bit of bass just to test it. It's on level 17 volume. All right, that was um, that was level uh, 45. So that maxed it out. It maxes out at 45. It sounded pretty good. But since it's starting to sprinkle, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing inside. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's waterproof, but you know, no need to sit out here. Before it rains, while I have everything set up, let's go back there. Turn it on. Turn it on here and here. Turn the volume back up. That's my girl, Sweetie, right there, man, with my tight. It's DJ Lil V hanging out with you on this good Tuesday afternoon right here on iHeart's 105 through the beat. The home of the world's most dangerous morning this show, The Breakfast Club. Club, man. And before I get into my show, I got to send prayers out to the homie Shaka. Uh, when I was out there in L.A. on Sunday evening, I got the call about um, the shooting that took place out there in Buckhead. So once again, man, I want to say prayers up to Shaka, um, prayers to all of his family and his friends. Um, and listen, we don't fully know exactly what all took place, but we do know that he's a strong individual. And if you know Shaka, you know he's non-confrontational, man. You know what I'm saying? Nobody was looking forward to hearing that type of news or even expecting to hear that news, man. So prayers out um, to It's on 40 to right now. And so, uh, yeah, I can't wait to actually hear it on the road. I think right now I'm pretty impressed with it. I'm going to just go ahead and, you know, install it onto the bike and continue this. So, thanks for watching.